I found an answer. It's displayed on your iPad. Okay, that's amazing. That's 47 times faster using hardware acceleration. Wow. <laughs> in this video, we're going to take a look at how to increase the speed of rendering of a video in Premiere Pro by 50 times. So I've got the software here rendering a project and the estimated time after 10% of the render is one hour, 15 minutes. Now we're going to redo the render using hardware acceleration. We're going to set everything up for hardware acceleration and we're going to see how long it takes. Before we get going guys, a quick reminder that we now have got a membership scheme for the Pixavert channel on YouTube. This will allow you to get access to a special feed of videos and other content polls and you'll also get other benefits as well. Click on the join button. You can check out what is available in the currently there are just two levels. You can check out what's available in that particular scheme. Now I've canceled out. Okay, what we now need to do is to turn on hardware acceleration and to see just what impact it has on the processing times. So there are a number of things that we need to work with. We need to go to file and change the project settings, general. And here we've got currently selected is the uh, software only option. Here on this PC, we've got OpenCL and CUDA. OpenCL is AMD, CUDA is NVIDIA. I'm gonna choose CUDA. We'll hit okay. And another important setting is in edit preferences. We need to go to media. And in media, we have the option of turning on H.264 decoding and H.264 HEVC encoding. And we can turn on both AMD and NVIDIA again. Now on your PC, you probably will have just one of these. If you've got uh, dual GPUs, you might have two of them, as you can see here on my PC. Let's hit OK. And it's important at this stage to restart the software. So just like that, I've restarted the software and we're gonna be able to continue with changing some of the hardware acceleration features. The next one I'm going to take a look at is going to be the sequence. So let's go and look at the sequence that we're going to be exporting. Inside of the sequence settings, there is an option down here for composite in linear color. This one requires GPU acceleration or max render quality. It's already turned on. If we go to edit preferences again, in general, it's another feature, another tick box. This is display color management. This is a feature that requires GPU acceleration. Now, in this particular case, I'm not actually using it. So we're gonna keep it ticked off. I don't need it for this project, but there are a number of uh, filters being applied, a number of effects, video effects, that use hardware acceleration and to see which ones actually do that you can go to the effects panel and if we click on the filter for accelerated effects you can see here a selection of the filters that use hardware acceleration got plenty of those inside of this project so what we can now do is to try to export this and see what kind of times we get so i'm going to go to my sequence we're going to go and choose export media and we'll time it now using the hardware acceleration. In the format, I usually choose H.264 or HEVC. And down here, you'll see the option for hardware encoding. If it's not possible to do that, you will see software encoding selected with this one grayed out. Um, let's go and look at the other settings, CBR, VBR. VBR one pass does allow you to use hardware acceleration as does CBR. There is a two pass option, which I don't think is compatible with hardware acceleration. So we're now going to test the render time and let's hit export. Let me just get my timer. We'll hit export, start the timer and we'll see how long it takes. Now it does the audio first and then it does the video. 
and it looks like it's going to take about a minute and a half. I will time it. The one thing I will say is that with this project, it's using quite a lot of hardware accelerated features. So it's kind of testing how much hardware acceleration can contribute to the reduction in processing time. Okay, that didn't take too long at all. So that was one minute and 35 seconds. Let's compare that. Hey Siri, what's one hour 15 minutes divided by 95 seconds? I found an answer. It's displayed on your iPad. Okay, that's amazing. That's 47 times faster using hardware acceleration. Wow. <laughs> so you can see the kind of performance benefits that we can get. And remember, I was doing screen capture whilst this, uh, this, this render was taking place. Uh, I think some people do get really confused about what is possible with AMD, with NVIDIA. As you can see, there are ways of working with both NVIDIA and AMD. I'm pretty sure you want to have uh, NVIDIA CUDA if you want to use the hardware accelerated uh, filters but otherwise it's kind of flexible you're going to get benefits whether you're using AMD or whether you're using NVIDIA so definitely do take it take a try with uh, hardware acceleration if you haven't already that is going to be it for this one I will see you guys in the next video